hello everyone in this video we will see how to create your master details screen so i have got entity data model with me if i explore this you can find organized db entities and tbl department tbl employee entities so i can use this tbl department if i go for tbl department 12 can see it is a class with few properties and all these properties are mapping to the columns that we have in our database i have department id and the property is the id department name and the field is department name hod the property is hod so i can use this tbl department as a model in the same way i can go for tbl employee and i can use this tbl employee as a model so anyway we are going to work with tbl department so i got organization model entity data model and i'll save this now i'll go to the controller right click and i'll say add new controller that is nothing but home and I want to make it an empty MVC controller. I will say add. Now in index, I need to list out all the departments. I will create organization entities object OE is equals to new organization DB entities. And here I will say return view with list of tbl department records now i need to add a view i'll right click say add view let its name be index and i'll say add and i'm not going to create complete view as we have seen this in our earlier videos i'm going to so i'll copy this and paste it here if you can see that as i'm passing a list from here i'm binding list of departments to this view and i have a simple table with header row in which i have department id department name and hod same way i have all the rows and I'm iterating using for each loop from the model and I'm displaying department ID, department name and HOD along with few links for every row we have the links that is edit details and delete and on the top of the table we have a link create new now what are these things we will see now I'll execute this it should display me the list of departments so I get the list of departments you can see that these links are self-explanatory that means whenever I want to create a new record I'll click on this link create new and you can see that it is taking me to home controller and create action and whenever I want to edit a record I'll click on this edit link and it is going to take me to home controller edit action with a parameter that is ID if I select this record, I should get the ID as 2. If I say delete, again it will take me to delete action with parameter as ID. In the same way, I have a details that will display the details of that particular record. So let us see the implementation of details. So whenever I click on details, it is going to take me to the details action. I'm going to create a details action now. Controller. copy this and paste it here I'll name it as details with a parameter as int id now what I want I want to find out that particular record 
that is nothing but TBL department D is equals to OE dot TBL department dot instead of writing lambda expressions I can simply say find I have a function or you can say method I can call find and pass the field that is ID and this record D I want to pass to this view I'll save this now I need to generate this view so I'll just right click and say add view details I'll say add and I have a view ready with me I'm going to just copy that view department details copy this and paste it here and save this so in this view you can see that as from the controller I am passing object of TBL department and I am binding the same TBL department to this view I am not binding the list as in earlier case I was passing the list I was binding the list here I am passing the object so I am binding the object here you can see that I am using display name for which displays name of the property and display for which displays the value of the property I'm simply displaying the selected record with two links. One link is for editing and the other link is taking me back to the index. So I will save this. And execute it. So here I get the list. Now I'll click on details. I should get the details of that particular record. So back to the list, back on the index. I'll click on details. So I'm getting the details. So back to the list. Now in details, you can see a link edit, which is same as this edit. That means I can edit a record directly from here, or I can edit this record with the help of details then from here. So, in our next video, we will see how to perform this edit operation. Thank you very much.